What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well here. Thank you for asking. This is not a review. This is just a few quick thoughts of what I thought of Stranger Things Season 2. I finished it up last night. Um, wow. Pretty good stuff. Now I have a web page pulled up here. I'm going to kind of pull some names as I go over some of the stuff here. This isn't no big in-depth review or anything like that. It's just my initial thoughts. If you recall, if you watched my Season 1 thoughts video, Winona Ryder was my standout character. I thought she did excellent. Very well done. Uh, this season, Season 2, uh, she still does quite well, but I think she was um, outshined this time, and I think it was just the nature of the of just how it was written and you know the script and everything uh, not so much her as an actress but they gave a lot more time to some of the other characters uh, David Harbour I believe kind of stood out a little bit in this season um, not only his acting but some of the things that he has to go through and do um, and then the character Mike does an excellent job uh, there is a connection between him and another character and there are moments where you're like oh man that's that's great that's good stuff um, and the actress that plays Eleven uh, Millie Bobby Brown um, she does a really good job this season uh, lots of emotion that has to come through on her part very well done uh, I'm just gonna say his name is I don't even know as an American actor he began his career on the Broadway scene he stars as Dustin okay yeah Dustin uh, the character Dustin as played by I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name the kid with the no teeth curly crazy hair very well done some good moments with him I'm enjoying his character growth um, him and along with uh, Lucas the character Lucas played by I guess Caleb Mc McLaughlin uh, they both have a, kind of a sort of a rivalry kind of a thing going on in this season uh, they both do well is really good um, and the kid that plays Will uh, Noah uh, he does a really good job he has a lot on his shoulders I think in this season and season one not really uh, if you ever if you watch it then you know what I'm talking about and kind of not there but uh, uh, in this season and season two Will has a big part and lots of feelings lots of emotions have to come through uh, he, his character goes through a lot in this one um, and the little and the new character I like her a lot a little redheaded girl uh, she plays Max uh, she does a really good job uh, new character into the town into the whole universe um, she's a little kick butt little girl she does a really good job and we have and of course uh, the girl that plays Nancy um, she's she's doing good her and another character having this arc moment and another character kind of in there having this moment and it's just kind of this uh, triangle thing going on and just a lot going on with these characters um, one of those characters are uh, it, his name is Jonathan in the in the show and uh, his acting was really good this season as well really uh, I, I can't complain about any of their acting they all really did just amazing they really did a good job um, the next guy is Steve Harrington uh, he's part of that little triangle as well he does a great job he goes through some serious uh, changing uh, changes in this season um, which makes his character even better I uh, think you're gonna kinda like where that goes 
I, I like how I like I like how he turns out in this season. And we have another new character. Um, he goes by Billy. He goes by Billy in the series. He's a new character. He's the stepbrother of Max, the the other new character, the little little redheaded girl. You're not gonna like this guy. I'm not gonna give a lot away, but I'm gonna say he is a jerk. Woo! Oh my god, what a jerk. And that's being nice. Another character that came into play in season two. Um his name in the show is Bob. Bab. Played by none other than Sean Astin. Um, you know him from Lord of the Rings as Sam. You know him from Rudy. You know him from the Goonies as Mikey. Big popular guy. Great actor. Does a great job. I was a little unsure of what his character was going to be when we first meet him. Uh, you might have the same feelings if you've already seen it. Uh, you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. There, things could have kind of went a couple of different ways. If you haven't seen it, kind of keep an eye out for it because it's uh, one of those things that you're like, I don't know. And then we have another character that joins in. And he actually does a, a good job at this character. Um, let's see. His name in here is... Jim Neiman, that's his character name, Jim Neiman. He's played by Paul, uh, Paul Reiser. Um, he does the character justice. I think he does well. Uh, he goes, he ends up joining in things, and you don't know how to take him at first either. Uh, you don't know if he's good, bad, or what. But by the end, you kind of figure things out. I'm not going to give anything away, but a uh, good character. Um, I don't know what else he's going to play is, uh, in season 3 or beyond. But uh, anyway, that's my thought kind of on the characters. Uh, there's no complaints at all with any of the acting. Um, I think the acting is all fine by all the, by all the actors. Um, the story... Uh, the story about what's going on is okay... It's uh, it's kind of in a it's kind of in a way not what I expected. Um, I expected kind of more of an adventure series, but this is almost more of a aliens meets Goonies kind of thing, uh, which isn't bad. It's just a little different than what I kind of thought it was gonna be. And you, I mean, you see this in season one, so it's nothing new to my mind. Um, it's just, you know, I thought I'd bring it up now. And, uh, what else? Of course, all the set, the, the design, the music throughout, uh, the vibes, um, they're still doing an excellent job bringing the 80s vibe in. Uh, still doing a really good job. I'm enjoying it, and I'm probably going to start season three up tonight. Um... That would be my next move. Go ahead and start up season three. And get her going. And maybe by the end of all this. I don't know how long it's going to go on. I might do like a total kind of review. Of the whole series. It just depends on how long the series goes on. Because it could get deep. And complicated and crazy. And might not be worth my trouble. But. We'll see how it goes. So anyway. I guess I got everything. Pretty much that I wanted to say. I didn't want to go into anything too too major anything, but my initial thoughts are it's still good. Um, I wish the story was revolved around a little bit of something else other than kind of what it is. Um, it it, it kind of and I know it's drawing you know it's going from season one to season two and I assume kind of going into season three. Uh, by the end of season two, you kind of see. You know, well, here we go. It's kind of still going on. Um, so, yeah. 
no real complaints. Uh, it's fun. It's interesting. I find myself watching, you know, three, four, five episodes uh, before I stop. So, guys, I recommend if you haven't started watching Stranger Things, give it a shot. It's pretty good stuff. It, it's it's interesting. It's fun. Uh, it it'll keep you look you know watching. You'll go through a few episodes and not really even know it. Um. I will do a season three quick thoughts and opinions so look for that uh, check out all my other videos don't forget to watch like subscribe comment share all that good stuff I do all this for free and I hope you enjoy it hope you enjoy all my stuff so guys don't forget to get up get out get red do it to it and I have nothing else to add let's do that see you later